All right, today we've got potatoes, cream, and butter, which can only mean one thing, food fight. No, mashed potatoes, Boise bangers, white creamy push push, starchy fluff balls, whipped glory, spuddy spuddy pop pop, puffy peelers and fat, white fluff and yellow gold, the Idaho I don't knows, the French connection. Now when I write jokes, my goal is to cut away as much fat as possible. But when I make mashed potatoes, my goal is the exact opposite. I wanna get as much fat in here as I possibly can. It tastes super good, but here's the deal. The more fat you add, the less you're probably gonna be able to eat. Although, that's a challenge I would accept. Look at my spots. Do you wanna hold my taters? Let me see them taters. All right, now this recipe is going to depend on how much potatoes you have. Survey says, oh, 493 grams. All right, let's just round up and say a nice even 500. Uh, or you can just kind of guesstimate. If you have two fairly large Yukon gold potatoes, it's probably going to be about 500 grand. And if you don't have a scale by now, why not? $10 on amazon.com. So I'm gonna cover these with about an inch or two of cold water, bring it just up to a simmer, and then turn the heat down to maintain that simmer until they're all the way cooked. Now you'll know they're cooked when you can insert a cake tester or a sharp knife into the potatoes without any sort of resistance. Just, they're just a pushover. They've just totally given up. <laughs> Stab me, okay. Cool top, huh? All right, my potatoes are just about done. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out my cream and my butter and start to warm them up. Now for 500 grams of potatoes, we need 12 and a half percent butter, which is 62 and a half grams. Yeah, close enough. And we need 50% by weight cream, so 500, 50%, 250. That should not have taken me that long. Where's my Mr. Pink shirt calculator? Getting warmer, warmer, 63. That's about right. What did I say, 62 and a half? Nailed it. All right, what did I say, 250 grams? Oh, let's get the chef's eye cam for this. 250, oh, I don't think we're gonna, we may have enough. Are we gonna have enough? Oh yeah, a little more, oh, bloop. Yeah. All right, I just nuked this for a minute just to take the chill off of it. It's not quite hot cream, which I'm not even comfortable saying. It's kind of like a warm cream, like a tepid cream, lukewarm. Dip your toe in kind of a, a comfort cream. All right, let's give these taters a test. Yuck, why does everything sound weird? All right, things are gonna move pretty quickly when these potatoes are done. So I'm gonna introduce you to the tools of the trade now. First, spatula. This is what we're gonna use to mix our potatoes, butter, and cream together into a nice, perfect mixture. I don't know what to call this. It's kind of like a bench scraper. I guess it is a bench scraper. We're gonna use this actually to cut our potatoes and then smush them through. Our next item, a tamis. Tammy? I don't know. It's spelled T-A-M-I-S. It's just a drum sieve, basically. I say basically like, of course, everybody's got a drum sieve, right? <laughs> this is gonna change your mashed potato game for the better forever. You will never not make mashed potatoes without this. Does that, you will always use this to make mashed potatoes going forward. A food mill, it doesn't totally suck. It's good if you want chunky mashed potatoes, like if you want chunks in there. And I don't, I don't like chunks. I like when it's all perfectly smooth, beaten down into like almost a puree, but not, it's not gonna, it's not like baby food. Although it is kind of a good baby food. That's, that's a lucky baby getting this for food. But the tamis just creates a nice refined texture and it also catches all of the potato peels. You can actually see, I don't know if you can see it, but there are some potato peels still stuck in here from the last time. Did I not wash this? Oh boy. I think I bought this at Sur La Table, Sur La Table. I think it was maybe 20 bucks. This is one kitchen tool I highly recommend. I think everybody should have one, if for no other reason than for these mashed potatoes. But even if you don't love mashed, why would you watch this if you don't love mashed potatoes, by the way? You can use this for foie gras. You can push it through to collect all the stuff and leave all the veins behind. You can push salmon through this and make like a fine salmon mousse. Basically anything that you wanna create a creamy mousse-like texture out of and, and catch any sort of impurities, you can push through this sieve. All right, I'm gonna get our workstation set up. And to do that, I'm just gonna dump the butter in here. You go in, you go in, come on. Every, all right, let's get our station fully set up. It's armed and operational. <laughs> That's it, butter in the bowl, tamis on top. Tammy, I don't know, is it French? Would somebody tell me? I'm gonna call it a tamis. <sighs> I feel like I should say Tammy, but it sounds like a name. I don't know, 
I just don't know. Let's just get, oh, salt. We're gonna need salt too. What am I thinking? All right, let's see if these bad boys are done. That's pretty good. All right, I think we're good to go. All right, so for this part, we're gonna wanna work fairly quickly, just because we wanna process the potatoes through the tammy, tamis, while they're still pretty warm. But they're also really hot right now, so it's okay to let them sit for a few moments up here and let them kind of dry out a little bit. But you'll notice when, they, when I first dropped them out of here, it was pretty dark on the skins. See, there we go. There's still a little bit of moisture there. That'll evaporate pretty quickly, because these are pretty hot. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna keep them inside facing down, peel side facing up, and we're just gonna push all the way through. That's it. See, look how easy that is. You can also pull off the peels, that's fine. Tastes like dirt. Yep, still tastes like dirt. I think when I was a kid, my grandparents would make a lot of potatoes with the peels on, like always baked potatoes, and they would always tell me that the potato skin, the peels would put hair on my chest. I always thought that was a weird way to entice a kid to eat the potato peels, the skins, you know? Like, what kid wants hair on his chest? I had a lot of Christmas lists when I was a kid, and not one of them said hair on chest. Also, I'm like eight years old. That'd be weird, right? Some eight-year-old coming to the table looks like Tom Selleck. I don't know why to be topless at a table. Maybe a pool. Maybe that would have been a better. Tip. Unless maybe I maybe that would maybe I would do that. Like I'd be really proud of all the hair on my chest. So I do come to dinner without a shirt on. But you know, nowadays it's not as it's not as cool. You know, now I just get it waxed. So I, I almost regret eating all those potato skins. It would have just been easier. I guarantee if you try making it this way, it's gonna be so much better than your regular way of making mashed potatoes. That little potato masher thing, the one that always jams every single drawer that it's ever lived in. I hate those things. Cause then you're just like pounding it. It never comes out creamy. It's always lumpy. I'm a no lump guy. There's just a little bit left over. So we just scoop it up like this. Look at that, can you see? Look at that. It almost looks like a, a sea creature, right? Like some sort of sponge or something. I'm going to eat you. Okay, now let's work quickly. Let's get started here with some cream and a lot of salt. It's two, that's maybe like a half a tablespoon. It's a lot, but this is a lot of potatoes, so we're gonna need it. Let's get the chef's eye cam. This is not gonna work, but it's, it's moving around way too much. But you can see how creamy it is already. Now it looks weird, I know, but trust me, the more we whip it around, the better it'll be. Now don't worry when you add all that cream in. See, and also, if you add a little bit at a time, you can kind of adjust it based on your tastes. So maybe if you don't want it super rich and creamy, you can dial it back a little bit and just leave it like this. This is pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go for a little bit more cream. Now see, it'll look weird. It'll look really creamy for a minute. That's okay. Just trust me, keep on stirring. I gotta switch arms. Didn't work out here. It's amazing how much fat potatoes can take. We can't handle anymore. I know you can. You can do it. You're the real hero. Why is he talking to the potatoes? I don't know. Taste test number two. Okay, I think it needs a pinch more salt. I think I'm good on cream. I may leave this last little bit just in, just, I don't know. I'm gonna dump it. Sometimes you start saying a sentence and then you don't know where it's gonna end. That was one of those. Also, the nice thing about these potatoes, there's so much fat in there that they reheat so well. Perfect for Thanksgiving. And then you can warm them just in a pan over medium low heat, maybe low heat. Now this is a good amount of fat if you wanna taste the Yukon Gold potatoes, which I think taste amazing. If you wanted to add more butter, you could do that. I probably wouldn't add too much more cream just because then it gets really creamy and it starts to get a little bit looser. It probably still tastes pretty good, but I actually like the flavor of really good butter in here. That's why I used Kerrygold Irish butter. There we go, mashed potatoes. Perfect, mashed potatoes. Oh my God, those are so good. Thanks so much for watching. Washing? What were you washing? Thanks so much for watching. That's all for me. If you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, try watching it again. Maybe, I think there's a subscribe thing up here. And like, uh, there's there's things here and here, I think. One, one of them, or maybe it's here and here. I don't know. I never know how to end those things. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Washing again, Anthony. Good Lord. All right, we're just gonna quit it. Chug this cream.